This Surfshark feature just got better. Is this the perfect time to start using the Surfshark browser extension? Simple versus informative. Which do you prefer? Let's discuss. If you want to get your VPN holiday shopping done early this season, check out the first link down in the description. There you'll find a coupon called SharkTube, which will give you two extra months when buying Surfshark VPN. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, I would very much appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button, set your notifications to all, and help me get to 10,000 subscribers. What is up guys? Welcome to another edition of Surfshark Academy. CleanWeb just got turbocharged. That's the opening title for the new Surfshark browser extension 3.17 update. And wow, this update is massive. So let's go over everything that's new. First things first, the extension now has a new dashboard separate from the VPN section that you might be used to. It houses all clean web features to make your browsing experience better. And speaking of which, clean web has now been upgraded to version 2.0, and it now incorporates four different features starting with the new and enhanced ad blocker. It now blocks more ads and trackers. For comparison, here's a page with the ad blocker off and here's that same page with ad blocker enabled. Nobody likes pesky ads, so definitely make sure to enable this one. Next, you got the cookie pop-up blocker feature, which has also been updated. It will block all the annoying cookie consent pop-up messages that appear when you browse the web. These can be quite irritating, asking you if you want to accept or reject cookies before you can use the site. So what this will do, it will actually reject them if possible. Otherwise, it will only accept the most necessary cookies needed to use the site. Let's now move on to the data breach scanner. No website is immune to data breaches, and it's not always easy to know which website experienced one without doing some research. But with the data breach scanner enabled, here on Twitter, I'm getting this notification that in 2016, Twitter did indeed experience a data breach. So if my password hasn't been changed since 2016, I must take action and change my password ASAP. Honestly, this is a really nice quality of life feature that can really have a big impact and protect you from losing your account. And finally, CleanWeb 2.0 also has the malware detector. It will let you know if a website you're visiting ever had any virus or malware on it. This comes in handy when you're visiting websites that seem suspicious, from the get-go. All right, so there you go. Four awesome features bundled all together. However, there's something very important to note here, and that is the fact that this new CleanWeb 2.0 version only is available if you use the Surfshark browser extension, which is why I think this is the perfect time to install it and start using it. In the description below this video, I'll have extension download links for Chrome, Firefox, and Edge browsers, in case you don't have it installed already. Now, Another great thing about CleanWeb 2.0 is that you don't have to be connected to the VPN for it to work. After installing, just make sure that the features are enabled and that's it. Also, keep in mind that if your VPN is enabled on the desktop app, then you don't need to connect to the VPN on the extension as that could result in connection issues. So for instance, here's my ideal way of using CleanWeb 2.0. First, I just connect to the VPN on the desktop app here. Then minimize the app, open my browser, and just have the extension active. Now my whole computer is secure, plus I get the added benefits of CleanWeb 2.0. Another question you may have is, what if a website doesn't work while CleanWeb is enabled? There are sites that just refuse to load or show contents if Adblock is on. Well, the Surfshark Bypasser feature has been expanded as well to allow clean web bypassing. So if a particular website doesn't work with clean web enabled, just click here to add it to the list and it should work as intended. The last thing I want to mention is that if you don't want to use any particular feature, then you can go to settings, clean web settings and disable features you don't need. And that's it. That was a long list of changes to go through. And I have to say, I'm really happy with this update. It's not that these features are just bundled together, which of course is very nice. But for me, the best thing about it is that they were improved. Though my question to you is, what do you think of this dashboard? Does it have too much information? You know, I'm personally a big fan of simple design, yet at the same time, it's nice to see more information in one place. But hey, those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And now it's time for the community poll of the week. As you may know, we run various YouTube community polls related to CyberSec and Tech Daily on our channel. So make sure to cast your votes when a new poll is released. And this week, it's all about how many devices you use with Surfshark. I was wondering about this because Surfshark allows you to use an unlimited number of devices. And interestingly enough, the majority of you run at least three to four devices in total. Some of you even 10 or more. This is definitely a unique feature to 
the Surfshark VPN, so make sure to set up all of your devices if you haven't already. But that will be all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. And if you want to know more about why Surfshark added the ability to log in with Google and Apple, then go watch one of these videos here to know more. But that will be all for me. Take care.